I'm gonna start sharpening my knives. Just running through the sharpener. I got three knives. This is my favourite. I've got a bone knife and a fillet knife there as well. Just needs a few runs through the sharpener. That's all you need. So this is my bone knife here. It's a Victor Onyx. Victor Ionix, whatever you call them. Great knife. Again, you want to keep it sharp. Doesn't need much, doesn't need much force, just run it through the, the notch. Once you keep an edge on them, they'll stay sharp. If you don't keep them, you don't keep sharpening them, it's harder to get them sharp. That's that one there then. And then that's me fillet knife. This is very sharp. So this is a fish fillet knife, but it comes in dead handy for cutting jugglers. I don't use this for fishing at all. I try and keep this minimal use as possible just so it keeps stays really really sharp if i know there's going to be bone in the meat wherever i'm using this i don't use it i just use something else now when you're cutting the jugglers you're going to hit bone you're going to hit the spine that's the bare minimum of bone that this knife will ever touch the skin on a chicken's tur or turkey's neck is very very thick so if you go at it with a blunt blade you're just going to injure the turkey or hurt the turkey needing it for, for no reason whatsoever and you can just sharpen a blade and it'll go much quicker. You'll see shortly in the video how quickly this will go through the neck of a turkey. I recommend using gloves when you're grabbing turkeys. Big ass nails the end of the feet they've got. I'm going to start with the biggest one today. That fell over there. Or else that one there. That one over there. Turkeys are very, very strong. This is a big girl. This is a really heavy board. There's the knife. The cone, that cone might fall apart when I put this board in, it's that big. So she'll try and kick out. Perfectly normal. Your head is near there, they'll rip the face off you. Those nails. Do you want to get any side of jugger? As I say, it's a heavy board. When she starts doing her death throws, she might bounce around too much. So hopefully she doesn't damage the setup here. So back to the common, perfect cut through the juggler. That cone could be a little bit longer. Either way, she's scraping her hocks off the edge of it. And she's not doing any damage to the drumsticks. She might, if she was a different, a little bit different size. That went textbook perfect. If you don't all go, per all go perfect. That was spot on. Nice and easy, nothing broke. Everything happened quickly. I'll just leave her to drain for a few minutes and then I'll take her over to the plucking shed. I'll start plucking her. Very happy with how that went. So I don't like hanging boards by her legs when I'm plucking them. Because when rigor sets in, there's too much weight, I feel, being put on the muscles and the legs. 
So ideally I'd like to hang them by the neck, but that fella is too heavy or that girl is too heavy to hang by the neck. So I'm actually just gonna pluck her on the ground as she lies sitting there. When you're starting to pluck these boards, you wanna go with the tail feathers first, then the wing feathers, preferably back and breast then. It's up to yourselves after that. But uh, I won't get this on camera, I'll get it before and after because I'll be plucking this for about 45 minutes, so there's no point in getting all that, all that on camera. So I'm halfway, well, most of the way through plucking this board. All that's left is the messy bits around here. You don't need to do the tips of the wings because you cut that joint there, so it's okay. You see these little bits? You can get in there and get these out with the tweezers. You can get them with your fingers as well, just give them a good pull. Um, I recommend you get all these little bits out before you dunk it in the bath for an L wash. Because when they get wet, they're very hard to grip onto with anything. So you want to get them when they're still dry. These are pin feathers. See the kind of the feathers kind of go in rows. So when you're plucking it, you just kind of pluck down a row, move on to the next row, and the next row. It's quite therapeutic actually. Except for this messy part, no one likes the messy end. And the legs are dead easy to pluck. Again, as you can see, it's all in rows. So you just pluck in the rows. And this is a big board, big boobies. 